had the pleasure of being joined by Alex and John. We got the win just when we needed it. Oh, what an absolute superb performance. Although we set up brilliant tactically, absolutely brilliant. That back five just allowed Wan Bissaka and Luke Shaw to attack. And I thought from the, from, from the minute off, we were, we were the better side. And superb goal by Ronaldo, sublime chip from Cavani, and then Rashford to top it off. It was just absolutely brilliant. You know, it's what you it's what you you dream of, isn't it? And it was just brilliant today. Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Obviously, Ollie's been under a lot of scrutiny this week. What are your views on the whole situation? Oh, you you got to stick with him. I think Andy Mitten tweeted recently, didn't he? There was a time under Sir Alex in '89 we went 11 games without a win, something like six defeats and five draws or something. And then we even lost, I think, five one to City. You know, in '89, and people forget that. And you got to, you got at some point, whether you believe Ollie's the right man or not. At some point, you've got to trust in somebody, and you've got to give them time. He only got back this summer because of the protests. We had, you know, some superb signings, but they take time. You know, Sancho's had a few, you know, bit parts. You know, maybe it's a confidence thing, but you know, he's got to gradually come in. Cos Varane's been injured as well against Leicester. You know, we brought Maguire back, so we got to give them time. I think, I think a lot of the lot of the time now, people want this instant success. And to build the team, it took Klopp five years to win the league. You've got to give somebody time. So whether, like I say, we're, we're, we're all in. You know, you've got to trust in someone. He's done so much good stuff. That academy now is absolutely brilliant. We actually went to watch his 23 today. They were so unlucky. I think they lost a the goal in the 93rd minute. But you can see some of the signings that we've got now. You know, with uh, Hannibal and uh, Alvaro, Fernandez, Absolutely great signings. And these are going to take two, three years to come to fruition. We've got to give him time. I think the, there is still a feel-good factor. The fans, we were there in the TRA section against Liverpool, singing our hearts out for the last 15 minutes. Scousers didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? They're, they're 5-0 up and they're, they're, we couldn't hear them. You know, we're out singing them. And this is this is what it's all about. It's about the passion. You've got to believe. You've got to believe. And Oli said in his press conference this week, he will always give it his best shot and he'll always try and fight back. And a lot of people were questioning, does he have the players backing him? But I think after tonight's performance, it's quite clear that they did want to play for him. Oh, 100%. I think we've seen that previously. I think there were just so many off performances against Liverpool. I think it was almost a whole, whole 11, just making schoolboy errors. You know, these things happen. It's so unfortunate to have so many players play, play have an off game. But, you know... It was unfortunate it was against Liverpool, our arch rivals, but at the end of the day, these things do happen. It's, you know, three points, but look at the results today. You know, Liverpool have dropped points, you know. Uh, I think every team that beats us, Leicester dropped points, you know, first game back in the Premier League, dropped points. And, you know, Villa have done the same since beating us and, you know, uh, Everton get the draw and what have they done since? Teams raise the game against us. But I think that formation today, two up top, I've been saying to Alex for a while, they, Cavani gives you an outlet. He will chase that ball all day long. And if he can knock it down to uh, Ronaldo, it, it just works so well today. And I think we need teams to be scared of us. I think that's we need to get to in that mindset. I think if we go two up top for the rest of the season, all being well left to fit, and we can rotate and bring uh, you know Greenwood in and what have you in Rashford, it's exciting. It could be. Well, Cavani came on. You could see he was hungry. He created chances in the first half as well. So it was inevitable he was probably going to get that goal. Yeah, I think uh, I never really uh, knew how good he was until he signed for us. You, you obviously see him in you know games now and then. But I think when you see him sign for us and you see him week in, week out, unbelievable player. And his age, he doesn't seem to matter. He'll chase that ball all day long. And he gives us an outlet. He gives us something different. You know, he's physical. He's got height. He's just, oh, I think it's great. And I think... The whole team now will be buzzing after today. And I think there is a togetherness. They're all down after Liverpool, like the fans were. But there's no need to panic. There's no need to reboot and undo everything. Just give it time, please. You know, don't don't panic. Don't press the panic button after one defeat. I know we've had a bad run of games, but that one defeat against Liverpool, everyone was just like, oh, that's it, Ollie out. We've got to put some ownership on the players as well. And they, and they, and they turned up today and they played absolutely brilliant. It was fantastic. And the, the crowd today getting behind him, it's what, it's what you support United for, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what was it like in there with the fans? Oh, man, I, I was surprised I can still, still talk. It was absolutely buzzing. It was absolutely brilliant. And they sang non stop, you know, and the, we'll support the boys no matter what. You know, if, if we had lost today, we'll still be there against City. You know what I mean? That's how it works. It doesn't matter, win, lose, or draw. We obviously prefer to win, but, you know, you can't always ask for that. Well, I think it was brilliant today, absolutely brilliant. Fans and everything.
And I think in pre- previous games, Harry Maguire is, you know, everyone's been doubting should he be in the starting lineup. Uh, Luke Shaw as well. Some people are saying should he be rested. What's what's your opinion on that? Yeah, you know, obviously they played played in the Euros as well, aren't they? You know, and uh, fantastic games as well. Exactly, you know, but the players are desperate to play, so it's very hard to keep people out if they're telling you fit and the coaches say, saying the fit, and players want to play. It's very hard to keep them out. You know, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? We can all say after the event that we should have done this should have done that at the end of the day you, you've got to trust the managers we don't know what goes on in training we don't know you know if players are turning up on time and how hard they're working you know we've got to trust the managers to do that but uh, again you know there's other people involved in this I think uh, I watch a lot of house and stuff and he's saying you know there's the analysis and stuff and uh, you know the, it's, there's a break in it somewhere you know it doesn't always fall at the manager but we've got to give things time you know we've brought in a lot of new people doing a lot of you know we brought this like set piece coach you can't just come in and, and, and make a change it overnight. You know, they do take time. And it looked today, I thought that formation today was great. I know what we keep with something like that. You know, the two old midfielders, not everyone likes, but I think that they sat in that in front of the back three, allow Sean Wambasaka to push forward, give them the freedom to go for it. Uh, and who knows? And hopefully can rotate players and bring them in. And if if the different variants of that, we don't always need to go like set up like that at home. So it'll be, but they'll be interested now. Game for City. City will be scared. Oli Oli's done well against Pep. So uh, if if Pep starts overthinking it, you know what I mean. If we get an early goal, which we could have done against Liverpool, and that would have been a different game. But it's all lifts and bots in it sometimes. I mean, in terms of the actual team selection, we're in a strong position, aren't we? Because it's only Pogba this week that he couldn't play yeah, yeah exactly yeah he was suspended unfortunately you know it was a a sloppy red card to 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 concede but yeah it is it's very rare to be in that situation a fully fit squad but if we can keep that and, and you know who knows it could go easily go on a run quite easily i think the results today just shows you anything can happen and all we got to do is be there to pick up the pieces and uh, capitalize when other teams uh, drop points but uh, you got to believe 100% as you said, we move up to fifth now. Um, it's still early on in the season and I'm pretty sure we can get silverware. You never know, dear. You, you, like I say, you've got to believe and what a difference a week makes, you know what I mean? I think there'll still be people all the out. That's fair enough, you're entitled to your opinion. But like I kept saying before, you've, at some point you have to believe and you can't keep resetting after you know three years. You've got to give somebody time. You could argue that Ollie's not got the CDM he wanted you know what I mean he hasn't really been backed in previous transfer windows it's only this this season that we, we, we've got three or four major signings but you know we should have had Sancho previously you know what I mean who knows what would have happened but you've got, you've got to trust the process and you've got to give it time and you know if if you can't support United then go and support somebody else in it <laughs> well enjoy the win tonight thanks guys, guys. Take care.